Hi guys, I'm here. Today I want to show you how to kill invaders and ghosts in an automation by using the Macrig Recorder from Jitbit. You can find the link for the Macro Recorder in the video description. Viking itself will be played in the Plarium Play Launcher. Before we start, this is not a regular tutorial on how to use the Macro Recorder. There are thousands of it already on YouTube. That's it, now let's begin. It's a very large script, so first I want to show you what the script will do. We start from the watchtower and already have a filtered list in the beginning. Then we check if there is a target already selected. If so, then we simply check if the damage bonus is at 600%. This is the max bonus for you to get the while killing the uber invader. If it, this is displayed, the enhanced attack will be clicked. If not, the script continues with the single attack. If there is no target currently selected, then we check on the display. If there is an invader slayer, it will be closed. If there is an uber invader slayer, it will be closed. If there is a ghost shelter, guess what? It will be closed. If there is only the list of the watchtower shown, then the first entry will be selected. Should there be the error message that there is not enough hero energy, then it will be restored. And because the script is for invaders and ghosts, it will do the same with the shaman power. Now we handle an error message while killing invaders or ghosts. If you currently have selected one and the same time it will be killed, then an error message will appear. In that case, the script will close the message, close the current target, close the watchtower list and restart it. Another error message can appear when the target is not available anymore. This can be when it's expired. In that case, there will be only a movement dialog shown. To resolve that, the script will do nearly the same like before. Close the message, close the watchtower dialog and restart it. That's now for the theory, let's go into action. So we start here by creating the loop, setting it on maximum and then end it. Inside of this loop, we will start with the invader, which is open. And we chose here the if image found on the marching speed. It's all in German, but you might get the idea. Then we added the, here the delay. And then we click here on the single attack button. After then we add a delay again. And now we end the if statement. So at this point, I will simply click on it to get our next point. You see, I have now 15% damage bonus. And when I add here an if image found and get this, this is the same logic as like I mentioned before with 600% for the Uber Invader. I add a little delay and I add a mouse click on the enhanced attack button. Then it will simply one kill it after it reached the 600%. Otherwise, it will simply start a single attack. I will just simply add here at the end if, and that's it for now. All right. So then I will add here the else statement and continue with the other logic. At this point, I yeah, first handle the message that the hero energy is not enough. At this point, I Add a new if image found, select this message below, and then I will add a delay. And then I will click on this button to get more energy. Adding a new delay, and now I will add a little loop. At this point I make only one time, you can create it like 100 times to push this button to yeah, restore some hero energy. I will put in here the coordinates again. Adding a little delay. It might be now, because it's a loop, a little less than one second. 
and then simply end this loop. And again, I will add a little delay in the end, and then I will close this view with the X button on the right upper corner. So, then there I just need a new delay on it, and then I can test it again. All right. It will start a single attack. The error message is detected. I will restore one time and then it will attack again. All right, that works probably and fine. So let's move on. Basically, this whole thing can be simply copy pasted for the ghosts. At this point, I will yeah, get rid of my shame and power I will just start an enhanced attack. It won't kill it, probably because it's on level 6. But at this point, I will get now when I will start the single attack. Then I can just simply copy paste the whole point here. And I only have to do to yeah, start the single attack, getting this message. And update here, this is if image found, and put in here this message. I see, it's true, it works, all right. And yeah, let's tr t try and test it again. Okay, so, ah, I want the enhance attack. Okay, then I will load, and now I have lost 30,000 gold, damn it. But you see, it will start the enhance attack because of this 15%. So now this logic, which we did before with a little example for the Uber invader, will also work. All right. So the next thing what we're going to do, we simply want to... No? Ah, we will now add here the invader layers. I will simply just select one and we'll click it on the map. And now I will get yeah, this message. And what I want to do, I want add a new if image found. And if this text is displayed here, I want to yeah, simply close this dialog. I will just yeah, end the end if here, adding a little delay, and then add the other delay, and then I simply place a mouse click in between to yeah, close the dialog. All right, just put the coordinates in it, and then we're fine. And this whole thing, can simply yeah, be just copy pasted before for the Uber invader. You see, you have to yeah, maybe just uh, adjust the coordinates for the X button because it's a little bit higher. And on the other side, you simply have copy pasted the whole logic and just put in the words. The ghost shelter is nearly the same method. Copy paste it. And yeah, simply edit the if image font. And that's it. They simply will close every of these three dialogues. Okay, so what we have now on our list. Ah, the next thing is when the watchtower list is shown. At this point, I will simply create an if image font on the radius, it's about 60 kilometers. And then, if this is shown, I will just simply add a delay, and then I will select the first invader on the list. So I will just put in here the coordinates for the mouse click, and then we will be done. Okay, adding a little delay at the end, and then 
simply and the end if as well. All right, that's it for this one. So now let's make a little jump or now just test it. All right, clicking on it, selecting it, and then starting the single attack. All right, it works. And now I have to make a little jump in here. You see, this is a level one kilt and I have killed it with another account yet. And so at this point, when I click here on the single attack, the display, the error message will display that this is no longer available on this location. In that case, I add a new if image found, collect the message, and below that, I add a little delay. And then I will simply add the mouse click to close this dialog because yeah we simply gone want to get rid of it all right then i add a little delay in next time so and then i will yeah, close it all right so but now you see maybe this message can be appeared either here when invaders shown or even in the list of the watchtower in that case i made a little if image again on the marching speed adding here a little delay and then i will close this view from this single invader so i will just end the end if here however if this is not be shown and only the watchtower list is shown, I simply want to end or close the watchtower dialog as well. So I put in here the coordinates, adding a delay, and then I will add a keyboard command and select the W. This is the shortcut for reopening the watchtower list. All right, adding a little delay, and then I simply end the end if. All right, so that's it for now, let's test it. So I will start with a single attack, the error message will be shown, the error message will be removed, then the dialog will be removed, the other one, and then it will be restarted. You see, the Celt is not there anymore, and I simply select the first invader and then starting again the single attack. So everything is fine, everything works. Now let's get to the next error message. We have here the error message when the invaders expired. In that case, you can simply copy and paste the whole error message handling we did before and adjust again the if image. You simply yeah, put in here this message that you can move this town and yeah, maybe it's even not necessary to add the closing dialog for the invader but adjusting here the mouse coordinates to get rid of this message simply we'll do this and if this is done and as i said we can yeah barely remove this one because it's not needed but uh, however this is everything done and working so far that's it for now. I will upload a second video about choosing only one specific invader or ghost and even a possibility to avoid a specific one. If you don't want to miss it, subscribe and leave a comment. See you soon and goodbye.